Welcome to Quarkus Tips, a series of useful and practical examples you can use with the Quarkus stack. For more information on Quarkus, please visit Quarkus.io. In this tip, we're going to quark a microprofile project. To generate the project, we go to the microprofile starter at start.microprofile.io. We leave group ID and artifact ID with their default. We select MP2.1 for microprofile version. To get all of the code examples for microprofile 2.1, we leave all these checkboxes checked. We then select Thorntail v2 for microprofile server. Finally, we click on the download button to create a zip file with the Maven project, which is automatically expanded in the downloads directory. The generated project has a pom file for Thorntail, which we need to replace with one for Quarkus. Instead of making modifications in place in the generated source code directory, let's create a new one to work on. Let's name this directory qproj4mp. To generate a pom file for Quarkus, let's enter the following command. This command includes all of the microprofile Quarkus extensions that are used by the generated starter project. Also, notice that the options for group ID and artifact ID need to match the ones you used in the starter. Once the Quarkus POM file is created, we need to replace the source directory with the one generated by the starter. The original source code is under the demo subdirectory in downloads, so copy the entire contents from there to the newly created directory qproj 4 mp We also need to add two more dependencies to the newly created POM file one for bouncy castle and one for name buzzds, which are needed by the microprofile jot propagation specification generated example. On a side note, this bouncy castle dependency will be removed in the next spring release of the starter. Lastly, we need to copy the web application index.html file to the correct location, which requires the creation of a subdirectory resources under the meta inf directory. Now we're ready to build and run the microprofile generated project with Quarkus in development mode. Once the application is up and running, point your browser to the application's index.html landing page. Now let's see if all is working correctly. The microprofile starter generated project comes with a default hello world resource. Click on the hello JAXRS endpoint link and you should see a new, mess a new page displaying hello world. Since you're running in development mode, let's try to make a quick change in the source code and watch the live reloads take place. Let's open the source file hello controller.java and update hello with hola. When you click on the resource again, you will see that the display message is now hola world. Now let's verify that the samples for microprofile config are working correctly with Quarkus. Microprofile config permits the externalization of configurable parameters for microservices. As you can see, the configurable parameters injected the value and value are defined in microprofile config properties and used by config test controller.java. Let's try modifying these two values and see if the changes actually take place. Notice that in this case, there is no need to rebuild the application. Let's add the word my to each of these two configurable parameters and notice that when clicking on the test links, we actually see the new values. In development mode, errors are detected by Quarkus even if you miss them while writing your code. Let's intentionally introduce an error by putting double quotes around a method parameter that is not expecting a string. Notice that when invoking the erroneous method from the web application, Quarkus reports on the error. Also notice that live reloads are taking place during development mode. Let's go back and fix the intentional error we introduced earlier. Now let's click on the rest of the links of the microprofile generated sample application to make sure that all works well with Quarkus. The fault tolerance sample fallback after timeout link works, health check works, the metrics timed endpoint works, as well as the metrics page. And finally, the open API documentation link generates an open API compliant document file. Here you can see its contents. In the Thorntail case, when compiling the microprofile starter project, you get a self-contained executable jar file. In its Quarkus version, if we check the target subdirectory, you will notice that it's not there. To generate it, execute the command mvn clean package. Once the build is finished, run the self-contained executable jar file. Once the application is up and running, go back to the browser and refresh the index.html landing page to confirm the web application is working OK. In this tip, we have shown you how to quark a microprofile started generated project. For a working sample of this project, please refer to these GitHub coordinates. For more Quarkus tips, be sure to subscribe to the Quarkus YouTube channel to get notified of exciting new videos showcasing many of the other Quarkus capabilities designed to solve real-world business and technical problems.